attempted thefts. They've become an increasing trend in our area. Another attempt happened this morning, this time in Howard, Hartford County. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner spoke with sheriff's deputies in Hartford who have a message for criminals who are thinking about carrying out these type of crimes in the area. At this Walgreens, there's now a gaping hole in the front of the store that's being repaired and the store is closed because criminals tried to come inside and smash and grab an ATM. Sadly, this has been the same situation for many stores throughout the city and county and now the first attempt this year in Harford County. We're seeing this on the news every day. It's becoming more and more common. Smash and grabs and attempts to steal an ATM for cash. Tuesday around 4 in the morning, it happened again. This time near Emerton and Abingdon Road in Harford County. I'm thinking in Harford County, people would probably never thought it would happen here, but it's happening everywhere. At this Walgreens, someone rammed into the store with a work van trying to steal an ATM. Two hours later, they found that van not far from the store. When they ran the plates, they found it was registered to a man who lives in Baltimore City and it had been stolen. Which leads us to believe that our suspect most likely came up from Baltimore City to uh, conduct this crime. The crooks tried to lift the ATM for about a minute, but it was too heavy, so they left. Amy Blank, sure who's a private ATM owner, says these type of crimes not only hurt the retailer where the ATM sits, but the consequences have a ripple effect. So not only are there less and less ATMs around because of the theft, right, but people can't access cash when they need to. And every time this happens, retailers are faced not only with cleaning up the damage, but potentially paying higher insurance premiums. Correct, they go up for both the ATM owner operators and more importantly, the retail establishments. Recouping the loss is um, not equitable. And deputies had a message for anyone else who thinks of trying to commit a smash and grab in their county. Well, one thing I can tell you is, I don't want to speak for other jurisdictions, but here in Harford County, when we apprehend these suspects, our state's attorney up here will certainly be prosecuting these people to the fullest. Again, the thieves did not get away with that ATM machine. You can see it's still laying there on the ground. And although sheriff's deputies did locate the vehicle that crashed into here, they're still looking for the people responsible. Reporting in Harford County, Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News. Brittany, thank you.